So ayun guys, so welcome again sa aming Magnet in the Making. So nandito na naman tayo no for another episode. So sobrang sobrang exciting to kasi ako few minutes ko pa lang naririnig si Miss Carla. Na excited na ako actually inistop ko pa. Pero Angela sige nga, uh, ano ba ang ganap natin ngayon? Ayun, magandang hapon. Ako si Jella. Sa mga nakapanood na alam ko halala niyo naman ako kahit pa paano. At para dun sa mga first time mag-visit nitong page natin sa NP Movement, Jella nga po and I'm with Nick. And ang ginagawa namin dito is uh, nagkakanda kami ng interview session with a lot of influential people and business uh, businessmen para maging uh, maging uh, foundation to para dun sa mga tao na nag aspire din na maging katulad nila. Mm-hmm. So ngayon, Nick, talaga sobrang excited ako eh. Sobrang saya ako na nakilala natin si Miss Carla. So sa ngayon, pangalan muna yung babanggitin natin, no? Hmm. Pero bago tayo magpunta dun sa kung ano ba yung meron tayo today, gusto ko lang i-recap sana yung mga sessions na nagkaroon tayo um, last week. And yung first session natin is with Yami Yastakoyaki, founder Jerome Manyo. So yung next to the session natin, uh, adopting to the new normal yung topic. And the next one, was yung um, does really each matter when it comes to entrepreneurship. So ngayon, grabe, grabe yung topic natin today. Para sa lahat ng mga marketista dyan, please, manood kayo kasi alam namin na marami tayong mapupulot na aral sabay-sabay from our guest speaker. Ngayon, sino nga ba yung guest speaker natin for today? Paano mo ba siya i-describe in one word, Nick? Ako, in one word, sobrang approachable eh. So trait kasi yan ng isang marketer. Sobrang approachable. So, hindi siya nag-hesitate na I'm a random person connecting with her. Kasi to give you an idea, guys, na nag-post lang ako sa startup community and si Miss Carla yung first person na nakita yung ano post ko and hindi siya nag-hesitate. So, nagkakilala kami siguro way back mga 3 days ago lang. So, sobrang short notice pero ganun siya ka-approachable and that is really the trait of a marketer. Kung, kung one word lang, ang sasabihin ko, marketer talaga sila. Marketer. So, ba't ikaw? Yung previous na usapan niyo, kumusta? Hindi ko alam eh kung paano ko siya i-describe. Ang dami kasi word na pumapasok sa usap ko. Siguro mas maganda ipakilala na natin siya. Pero, yun nga, nabigyan ko kayo ng idea sa mga nanonood. No? Itong speaker natin for today, um, isa siyang award-winning writer. Grabe, di ba? Award-winning writer. Um, ano din siya, no? Speaker. Speaker, mm-hmm. grabe. Tapos, owner and marketing lead to multiple businesses in brick and mortar and online space. Yung palang mga words na yun, no? grabe na siya na tayo. Siguro hindi natin patagalin, no? Miss uh, Carla, magandang hapon po. Nandiyan ka ba, Miss Carla? Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> Hi, magandang hapon po. Sige, Rano. Yeah, Miss... Uh, Medyo. Okay pa, okay. Guys, uh, nagkagulo kami kasi sobra na siya kami. <laughs> so ito po, no? siya po si Miss Carla. Ngayon, bibigyan natin na ng pagkakataon si Miss Carla na ipakilala yung sarili niya mismo sa mga nanonood po. Miss Carla? Okay, hi. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon to all the viewers of NP Movement. I'm very lucky to be here and I'm very grateful that you guys are giving me a chance to um, be a blessing to others as well, you know. Um, I really appreciate your initiative. It's not, a, as you know, it's not a very good time in general for our economy right now. And I feel like this initiative for the youth will give them more inspiration, not just because of your speakers or me, but because of the movement that you're trying to do and what you're really doing to help. Diba, uh, sa, sa panahon ngayon, nakikita, marami akong nakikita mga tao who are just, will, uh, who are just willing to take and take and take because they feel scared, no? Mm-hmm. They feel scared na natakot sila sa uh, estado ng ekonomiya ng Pilipinas, na natakot sila na uh, to descend into poverty or mag-close yung negosyo nila. But you guys have a very giving spirit mm-hmm. and, uh, yes. you know, and uh, so I'm really, really grateful to be here and I'm excited for our talk today. No, thank so, you naman po. Sure. Miss Carla, no, na sabi ko po dun sa intro na meron po kayong businesses na nabuilt on your own. Can you give us an idea kung how do you do the business? And yun nga, bigyan mo po kami ng insight kung ano-ano ba yung mga pinagkakabalahan mo sa buhay. <laughs> um, first of all, nanonood ba yung BIR? Joke lang. Tumabahid <laughs> 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 ako ng taxes, ha? <laughs> um, um, so, well, you know, um, yun nga, sinare ko kanina yung story ko, diba? So, uh, 
my my story was my story began when I was 19 and uh, I graduated uh, early. I graduated in Ateneo de Davao, and I was the president of the debate varsity that time. And I I, I was also like a, a champion in a competition, debate competition, mga public speaking ganon. So as you know, makapal talaga yung mukha ko. So one <laughs> common trait of a marketer is makapal ang mukha. So uh, my dad used to say when I was a kid. Makapal ang mukha, makapal ang pitaka. Wow. So, <laughs> that really stuck with me. <laughs> and every time uh, before I feel like uh, wala na akong pera, pinakapalan ko lang talaga yung mukha ko. So, <laughs> yun yung uh, ano, life hack, hashtag life hack. So, um, when I graduated, I thought na, you know, being a good student, uh, ma- marami akong awards. And in fact, ma- nag-champion pa nga ako sa isang table tennis competition. Pretty funny. Uh, sabi ko sa sarili ko, oh my God, pag-aagawan talaga ako ng kumpanya. So, I was very young and stupid, obviously. When I went out of uh, college, uh, hindi totoo yon Hindi ako pinag-agawan. In fact, uh, in fact, ang dami kong inaplayan na hindi ako tinanggap. Uh, it was my dream to work in a really big FMCG um, company like PNG, Unilever. In fact, guys, hindi ako pumasa sa first exam. Ganun kalala. So, may mga may mga parang may mga classmate ako na pumasa sila sa first exam, na hire sila. Tapos pa ingit ngit ako sa kanila. Parang I really felt down. Parang what what's wrong with me, de ba? Am I not as smart as I think I am? Bakana sa utak ko lang to or magaling lang ako? Nakachamba lang ba ako, de ba? So I really felt bad. Anyway, the only company that accepted me was an ad agency, an advertising agency, and they hired me as a writer. They hired me to write their ads, they hired me to write uh, press releases, they hired me to write brochures, you know. So writing is, uh, you know, one of my first loves, so I had fun. I had that job for eight months, and then I also wrote for a newspaper that time. And then I realized na um, ayokong maging empleyado. So I started uh, a few businesses. In fact, the uh, first business ko talaga is a flower shop. So uh, I have a flower shop in Davao, and uh, now we have a downtown office with a with a glass uh, window display, which is pangarap ko. Wow. And uh, and I was also able to build that flower shop as a franchise or as a dealership, and we have ten locations in the country right now. So. Uh, yung second business naman na na-start ko is an events company. So, dahil nga makapal yung mukha ko is I was a host or MC for a while. And uh, nagkaroon ako ng realization nung nakaka-co-host ko si Kim Chu. So, <laughs> kaya tasi ka si Kim Chu ngayon, di ba? So, <laughs> uh, so, that time, pwede pa kaming lumabas ng classroom. Uh, nag-host kami ni Kim Chu together. <laughs> <laughs> sa isang show sa Davao, no? Nasa Davao. And then, I remember that time. Kasi that time, nung naka-host ko si Kim Chu, yung binayad sa akin is uh, X amount of money. So, ayoko na siyang i-reveal. Pero, malaki yung bayad. But, kung naisip ko, eto na yung bayad ko, naka-host ko si Kim Chu, eto na yung pinakamataas na magigain ko from hosting. So, I have to stop hosting. I have to do something else. So, naisip ko, sino ba sa event na to ang pinakamalaki yung bayad? <laughs> and then, na-realize ko, it's not the host, it's the event organizer. Yep. So, that's how I started my event planning company. Nag-apply ako para maging assistant. Nag-assist ako for three years uh, sa isang uh, company na ano, as in assistant, like nagwalis, nagpunas ng chairs, ganon. So, uh, I started that. And then eventually, as I became more and more interested in marketing my businesses, I became uh, more knowledgeable in, in digital marketing, and I started a few online businesses, naman, uh, on the along the way. So, ngayon. So right now, um, tinanong yung nga ano yung pinagkakaablahan ko. I am starting uh, another. Co- I am leading another company that I have a, you know, uh, I don't own it fully. So. Um, in fact, ano lang ako, katulong lang ako. <laughs> uh, iba yung owner. And, um, but he's my partner. And uh, we're building a, a company that has, that supports businesses in creative tech and support. So, marami kaming services that give companies around the world 
support for customer support for their creative uh, demands for their creative projects like video, video editing, logos, ganun. and we also have a tech company which takes care of uh, you know WordPress development and um, tech support, uh, tech uh, development, na software app and API management. So I will not bore you with the details, but yun yung pinaka focus ko ngayon. And of course, um, here and there, nagi invest pa rin ako sa ibang businesses na mga nakikita ko na worth it ko na pag invest not just time, pero then uh, and on the side, then especially weekends, nagko coach din ako or nagko consult din ako for other small business owners. Pero siguro kung may tanong lang ako no ma'am no. Ang hmm. daming business, how do you handle it? Hire people smarter than me. That uh, is boss. my number one principle. Super kasi, busy. Uh, kasi you know, lahat tayo, 'di ba, may 24 hours in a day. Hmm. And we can't all think na sa negosyo natin, we are the most we are the smartest person. That is very wrong. Uh, you may have the idea but you are not the smartest person. In fact, if you're the smartest person in the business, you're most likely going to fail, right? Mm. Kasi kung meron kang problema na hindi mo ma-solve, mauuntog lang yung ulo mo sa ceiling mo, di ba? So kung ikaw na yung pinakamatalinong tao sa negosyo mo, ang hirap nun, right? It means, pag, pag hindi mo kaya isolve yung problem, eh wala na, wala nang point, di ba? Ikaw na yung ano, no? Kasi ikaw na eh. End, diba? end na eh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Uh, so, I do have a lot of strengths. Marketing is my strength. Sales is my strength. Implementation, eh, not very much of my strength. In fact, nalilate na ako sa mga labada ko, sa mga plato. Kailangan hugasan, so I don't trust myself. Uh, organization uh, is not my super strength. Finances is not my super strength. Um, so, I have awesome project managers and uh, vice president for operations. So, nandun yung sila yung mga ano, secret agent. Kung baga, may yeah, I mean, no. isang ano, umbrella company na yun talaga yung nag-handle for each different businesses that you have. Tama ba? Uh, oh, parang, kasi parang pyramid kasi siya. Siyempre, no, wag yung itrip yung answers ko as Bible. Like, this is what worked for me. Hmm. It might work for you. It might not. Pero sa akin yung prinsipyo ko is parang siyang triangle. Parang pyramid, di ba? Pyramid scheme. Charot. So, ito na dito sa taas. <laughs> Tapos meron kang dalawang or isa na vice president. So, uh, sila lang yung dapat yung kausapin mo. So, after sa kanila, meron mga supervisor or manager. Yun lang din dapat kausap nila. And then, and then yung mga whatever rank and file, delivery boy, uh, mga liaison officer, admin assistant yung sa baba. So, mas ano kasi siya, mas organized siya. Hindi naman pwede ako kinakausap ko pa yung nag-deliver ng bulaklak. O, oh, ilan na na-deliver mo today, di ba? So, so, it's like may chain of authority kayo na sinusunod and then nandun doon din nagbe-base ko ano yung work na kinocontribute doon sa companies or sa businesses. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, kailangan organized talaga. At saka, something to note din, no? something to note with my businesses uh, and my experience, uh, I never had any business that has more uh, than 10 employees. So um, the way that I grow my business is very special kasi um, uh, hindi ako naniniwala, naniniwala ako that you can build a business to millions because I've done it. Kahit hindi hindi mo kailangan mag-expand to a bigger office or mag-hire ng 300 people para makaabot ka sa level na yun. Kasi marami akong ano, kasi marami akong mga alam na businesses, especially food na parang ang dami ang daming ano may renta ka may utilities ka may salaries ka pero yung net profit is not as much as yung maliit na kumpanya ba so so for me the way I grow my businesses is bottom line profit lagi profit mm-hmm. bottom line uh, nag-hire lang ako pag super duper kailangan na talaga and if if ma-justify ko din siya and of course kung nag agree din yung teammates ko uh, I really trust my teammates and as, of course hindi ko din sila in overwork. So hindi din ibig sabihin na tampong tao lang, hindi pressure ko sila. Oh guys, hindi tayo pwede mag-expand. Dapat bataas yung profit natin. Hindi din pwede ganun. So balance. May up. analysis talaga na nag nag undergo dun sa business mo. So Miss Carla, na banggit mo na yung mga businesses, grabe sobrang 
Hindi na may alam paano nagawa yun ng isang tao lang, no? Talagang, um, ano ba, it empowered us na to do more, to be more. <laughs> grabe, grabe yung feeling ngayon. Sa- sana yung mga viewers, um, sana nakikita rin namin kung ano yung expression nila while <laughs> listening to what you're saying earlier. Ngayon, Ms. Carla, since yung topic natin is marketing, I have one question for you. Para sa, merong, um, pwede ka bang mag-share sa amin ng experience mo kung saan minarket mo yung isang business na binild mo? Paano mo siya minarket? In what ways? Tsaka, ano ba yung mga naging downside loss mo? Paano mo siya napa, naging, naging, paano naging successful? Ganyan. We want to hear right. your story. Yeah. So, um, may, meron akong formula in starting new businesses. So, if you you guys follow, follow this formula, actually, mahirap mag-fail sa formula na to. And madali lang to. So, my favorite uh, way to build a business is, number one, is it has to be profit first. So, namimili din ako ng negosyo na hindi ko kailangan mag-raise ng malaking capital or hindi ko kailangan mag-raise ng capital at all. And um, the first time that I collect payment, is also the time that I can collect my profit. Uh, so bibi, so i- I'll show I'll show it to you how I do it. So sa flower shop, bago mo i-deliver yung flowers, kukunin mo yung order muna. Pag kinuha mo yung order, oh sir, anong ano, anong uh, occasion, uh, ilang dozen ng roses, gusto niyo ba ng chocolate at ng teddy bear, di ba? So ganun yung usapan. So ang uh, ano, ang um, after that, pag nakapag-finalize na siya ng order, Sasabihin niyo, okay, ito po yung total, 3,500, 3,500. Tapos, we will wait for your payment. Ito po yung modes of payment. So, nakukuha ko yung payment ko, di ba? Bago ko siya i-deliver. So, ang tawag dyan is, it's a profit-first business. So, sa events din, it's the same. I demand a down payment upon signing a contract. Be- be- before ka magsisimula, meron kang nakukuhang bayad. Sa online business ko din, I have a VA placement agency where uh, we're a recruitment agency that matches Uh, clients from overseas sa mga Filipino virtual assistants and project managers, graphic designers, video editors, social media managers. So, before namin ginagawa yung recruitment, nagbabayad din yung client. So, di ba? May formula siya. Profit first. Number two is, um, paano mo siya ma-market? Paano mo siya mag-grow? I want you to focus on your first 10 happy clients. So, first. gawin mo lahat. Magpakamatay ka. <laughs> para magtrabaho ka talaga. 80 hours a week, 120 hours a week, I don't care. But for me, if you have 10 happy clients, dun magsisimula yung wave of clients mo. Kasi itong 10 clients na to, yun yung practice mo. Paano mo sila ma-serve, paano mo ma-deliver yung product or yung service. Kung happy sila, they'll give you a testimonial. Kung ha- mas super happy sila, they'll give you a testimonial and a referral. So, gamitin mo yung first 10 clients as a beta test, as a way to test your system uh, and to test customer satisfaction. So, sa first client mo, hindi probably hindi perfect. Kung perfect man, nakachamba ka lang. Second, you get better. Sa third client, you get better. You get better, you get better. Sa 10th client, trust me guys, sobrang galing mo nun yan. And I'm, 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 I want you to focus on 10 happy clients because you might have 20 clients but not all of them are happy. You might have 50 clients pero nag, parang na, ano ka, na-windang ka, hindi mo, na, hindi mo nagawa yung mga services or may, meron kang na-miss, ganun, hindi mo in-expect. So um, they're not all happy but your first 10 happy clients, uh, that usually means uh, validation of your idea. And uh, most likely after there, pwede ka nang mag-explore into paid ads, maybe Facebook ads or PR, uh, magbayad ka ng PR agency. Uh, yung events ko din, yung events uh, company ko din, it's also a PR agency. We're an events and PR company. So yung PR and marketing side, actually yung bumubuhay sa amin ngayon. So um, I, I really know how important PR is or uh, marketing is in a business. After you know, after your first 10 clients, dude, pwede ka na mag, mag-market talaga. And there's different ways to market your products. What is important is, uh, where do you find your ideal clients? So, saan ba sila nag-hangout? Saan sila nag-uusap? Saan sila nagbabasa? Is it social media? Is it, uh, are they out? You know, so I don't want you to spend 300,000 pesos on a billboard if hindi ka din sure na... Ano, makikita yun ng clients mo, di ba? Pero if it's worth it, then why not, no? So, uh, yeah. So, 
to summarize, choose a profit first business so that you collect your your profit right away. And then number two, focus on your first 10 happy clients. And then after that, it will just be intuitive. Paano ka na mag-grow? Grabe no? Grabe yung mga strategies na nakukuha natin. Ako, ano pa lang to ah? Ako nagdo-notes ako, Angela. Pa lang. Nagdo-notes Yun ako. Yun na nga eh. Nagdo-notes ako. Nagsisisi ako na wala akong oh. notebook na nadala. No? Kasi hey, na... Miss Carla, ito, grab... Uh, yeah. Grabe yung mga ito, idea. Ito kay Angela. <laughs> <laughs> Nako po, na-businessan na ako, na-power na tayo ni Miss Carla and Nikki. Ngayon, no, paano, paano yun sa, narinig kasi natin ng ilang beses yung word na marketing. Ngayon, mm-hmm. para sa maraming tao, minsan nagagawa na nila, hindi pa sila aware na marketing na yung ginagawa nila. Ngayon, Miss Carla, uh, para sa, sa perspective mo, how are going to define marketing? Paano mm-hmm. mo siya i-describe? Wow, okay, so... Um... I can't really answer this with uh, my own words kasi nagturo din kasi ako ng marketing before. So, what marketing wow. is the process. <laughs> oh, nagturo ako ng marketing sa atin eh. Pero once and lang, hindi ko kinaya, guys, kasi hindi ko kinaya yung mga estudyante. Uh, <laughs> parang ano, hindi ko kaya talaga like yung yung responsibility. Tapos um so, 'di ba, marketing refers to all uh, all sorts of processes and activities that lead to customer acquisition and satisfaction. So, um, maraming items na consider mo na marketing. Tapos ngayon, yung marketing din as a term, nag-expand na din siya. Meron ng digital marketing, meron ng branding, no? social media marketing, even storytelling is now considered as a marketing strategy. So, um, uh, plus, to add to that, we have more and more platforms, no? Uh, three years ago, we didn't have TikTok. Now we have millionaires making millions just on TikTok, diba? So, um, you know, it, it's constantly evolving. But for me personally, in a nutshell, marketing is whatever gets the customers in your door and feeling good about it. Because uh, sales is a, is sales, you know, it's to sell to get the cash in the door. But for me, marketing and succeeding in your marketing is to have a customer happy that they're paying for your product. So, yun. Well, 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 ano, no? well, well said, no? Grabe. Kasi ano yan, Angela, that is explained through experience. Yun yung sinabi ko kay mm-hmm. Ma'am Carle, na burn out tayo dun sa theoretical na tinuturo sa atin. Pero if you are listening to a businesswoman, someone like, who's uh, been there, no? Uh, who's been there, they will, done that. They will explain it, ano eh much precisely, much clearly, and maiintindihan ng tao. Kasi kung i-experience... Oh, may first-hand experience talaga siya, no? Oh, kasi to be honest, I'm a marketer. So, I graduated business management major in marketing. And pinag- sobrang dami pinagdadaanan ng mga marketing student na dinadown kami. Kasi ang mindset, oh, marketing ka, eh di taga-benta ka. So, yun lang yung nagiging focus. So, kaya naging, na-trigger din ako na dapat may, meron tayong ano, eh, may interview about marketing. And this is precisely the reason kung bakit yung explanation yeah. na ganun na oh, doon sa mga marketing students, ha, right now we have 30 viewers. So, first ever namin to, Miss Carla, sa pag-live namin na nahit namin yung active 30 viewers. So, yung mga students <laughs> dyan. Baka ko yan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mga students, no? Di ba? Precisely, ganun, ganun in-explain kung what is really marketing all about. So, meron lang tayong... Siguro big... Take issue. I have, oh, I I have ten, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. May 10 minutes tayo bago mag-off tayo, bago balik tayo ulit. Mamaya. So, we have still Ngayon, Miss Carla, no, narinig namin yung perspective mo, yung idea mo in, uh, sa word na marketing. Ngayon, if, I, if I'm if i going to ask you, ano ba yung importance ng marketing sa isang business? Kasi baka mamaya meron dyan nag-iisip na mag-start up pa lang ng venture. Eh, bakit ko kailangan ng marketing? No, hindi ko kailangan yan. Basta mag-work ako, okay na yon. So, paano natin to ipapaliwanag dun sa mga tao na medyo close-minded pa in terms of marketing their businesses or their products in the market? Right. So, um, uh, one of my mentors actually said a while ago, every business job is marketing. Uh, all the other jobs in a business is there to support marketing. So, ako talaga parang napaisip din ako. And then I realized na tama naman siya. Kasi if you think about it, marketing is reputation management. Marketing is uh, client satisfaction. 
marketing is branding no making sure that your brand is good and branding is not just your logo uh your letterhead no your office branding is a gut feel uh, a brand exudes a feeling it's not uh it's not certain colors thrown on a paper so for me marketing every business really needs marketing because it's it's the i know it, it's a blood in your veins talaga so if you think about it what are the common divisions in a business let's say malaking business malaking business ako um operation so nandun lang naman yung operations kung may nagbebenta ka finance nandun lang naman yung finance pag sobrang dami na nang nabenta niyo di ba sales nandun lang naman yung sales kasi the the journey the customer journey bago ang customer mag decide na magbigay ng pera sa you have to massage them you have to get into their heads you have to tell them that hey we have the solution to your problem and who does that job it's marketing no one no one will come to you and just give you their money without knowing what they're paying for right so even if uh in in your business na medyo matagal na yung negosyo mo like my flower shop uh 35,000 likes na kami sa Davao and hindi talaga kami nauubusan ng benta i would say every day mayroon talagang delivery ganun uh it's not because meron kaming office sa downtown it's not because maganda yung facebook namin it's not because meron kaming testimonials it's because all of these are working together lahat-lahat even the fact na naka-uniform yung taga deliver alam mo yon and that the delivery comes on time ganun it, all of it is because of marketing now tanggalan mo ng marketing yung isang negosyo this is how you would know how important marketing is tanggalan mo ng marketing yung isang negosyo tanggalan mo ng logo tanggalan mo ng uh, lahat ng sales people sasagutin lang nila yung questions according to the FAQs no walang ano walang walang bola no walang walang website how how would you sell something diba you can only the only products that you can sell without marketing is utilities and raw materials sugar rubber diba all the boring shit <laughs> <laughs> oh i know maganda nga maganda nga na malaman to ng mga tao kasi minsan no nag nagfi-fail din yung isang business because hindi nila binibigyang importansya yung marketing kasi ang ano ba primarily ang iisipin lang nila is just to sell eh bakit basta isa lang natin to nang isa hindi natin kailangan na magig maganda yung pangalan ganun kasi yung thinking ng ibang businessmen no so fire din sa mga nanonood mm-hmm. take it from Miss Carla mm-hmm. na yung marketing bigyan natin siya ng importance kasi siya yung blood sa veins natin mm-hmm. kumaga parang siya yung root ng businesses natin the finance Diyan lang sila, tama nga si Ms. Carla, nandiyan sila kasi maraming benta, marami silang aayusin na accounts, receivable and payable and all that stuff. Pero yung marketing, siya yung nagpo-push for mm-hmm. business to prosper and to succeed. Mm-hmm. Tsaka ako right. may realization lang din ako, no? Kumbaga, yung mga micro-factors na no? yung uniform, yung page, yung ano, na lahat yun pala, no? It is working all together just to yep. massage yung feeling ng mga customer na oh bilin mo ko so which is para na strike sa akin ngayon na oh nga no kasi today meron ako mga factors na hindi ko rin naiisip like this na hindi ko pa na in deeper meaning so ay parang mas mm-hmm. naintindihan ko siya na marketing is a collaborative ano collaborative efforts micro efforts na pinagsama-sama and that will be the reason kung bakit bibili yung kliyente natin ang galing ang galing doon, comment ako doon kay Ma'am Carla. Kasi, <laughs> Actually, na- marami pa tayong gustong itanong kay Miss Carla. No? Pero ilang minutes na lang ba yung allow tayong mag-air pa tapos four. commercial? Kasi ba, mas maganda yan. Four pa, four pa, so may four, four minutes pa po tayo, Miss Carla. No? Pwede pa mo ba ulit ako magtanong? Of course, yeah. Please, go yeah. ahead. Um, Naman na wala ako d- live. Sarap. <laughs> Doon po sa mga businesses na nabanggit mo kanina, like the flower shop and yung mga teletech agencies, mga ganyan. Um, uh, meron bang time na nag, nag-doubt ka sa sarili mo in terms of your marketing ideas? Or meron bang, so, uh, at, at ano ba yung naging reason para wag mong i-doubt ng sarili mo at magpatuloy ka dun sa field na gusto mong tahakin? Hmm. Yeah, so that's a very good question, no? Kasi... Usually, pag meron kang past success 
iniisip ng mga tao na sobrang galing mo na hindi ka pwedeng magkamali ganun something like that but it's it's not really like that uh you guys have to know because i i mean you you, you already know when i say you parang everyone that no marketing or advertising professional can really promise you success and if they are promising you success they're lying to you because every marketing uh and promotional campaign or a decision is actually a gamble the thing is if you're an expert you have past results to show yun ang magiging reason bakit ka hinahire so to mga tao na nag-hire sa akin right now to consult with their marketing I will tell them my idea and I will defend my idea and I will defend the logic behind my idea and I will even pull up resources, research, show that my idea has the most likely amount of uh, success, uh, most likely will succeed. No? But I cannot really promise them anything and I will show them my results. Even with my um, flower shop franchise, diba? so I offer my flower shop as a franchise and I sell it for a little less than uh, 200,000 pesos. Now. Uh, marami nag inquire sa akin. If mag-open ako ng flower shop sa, sa ano ko, will it succeed? Or how can you assure me na may ROI ako? So, for me, ang hirap naman. I can't, I can't assure that. But I, I'll show them that all of my past uh, dealers have ROI within 3 to 6 months. And in a franchise, that is a very, very good uh, results. So, nung... Even even yung mga areas na sobrang baba ng population, Kidapawan, Olonga po, they were able to make their money back in less than six months. And now, they own the business 100%. So, pag may, pag may nagtatanong sa akin na bago, oh, how can I be, be sure na ROI ako niyan? Ganun. Siyempre, ano, I, I, this is free money. I'm not gonna, I'm not just gonna, uh, hindi ko i- iaano yung reputation ko by telling you that you will succeed. Siyempre, there's still work that's gonna come from you. But if you follow my system, if you follow my instructions, um, you will experience what the other dealers experience. Uh, and kung kaya ng dealer from Kidapawan and Olonga po, very, very low population. In fact, I warned them na mahirap to ha. So, uh, you know, let's do it. Paghirapan natin, but uh, this will be very challenging. Surprisingly, surprisingly, they still ROI in less than six months. I'm very, very happy. Wow. So, uh, yeah. So I, you know, marketing is 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 uh. Ayan, Eileen commented. She's a she's a dealer in Quezon City. So yeah. wow, hello po. <laughs> ayan, she's, she's a flower shop dealer. So if you guys are watching in Quezon City, it comment uh, i-message niya siya sa kanya kayo bumili ng flowers. <laughs> uh, ayan na plug pa siya no. So um, you know every marketing every marketing thing is a gamble but the more you do it the better you will be at it and the more results you get. So yun yun. Sige, uh, commercial break muna tayo bago re-enter tayo dun sa Zoom. Okay, okay. laban. Thanks, Ms. Carla. Bye. Oh, yes, you say, you Ka. So, and we're back. 
We are back. Ano? Oh. No? Pansamantalang commercial muna. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe, yeah. no? Ilang minutes pa lang tayo pero sobra na yung mga natututunan natin coming from Miss yeah. Carla. Yung mga, meron ba tayong mga live, uh, mga live audience talaga, you know? Meron ba tayong mga viewers dyan na may mga questions for Miss Carla, for you, for me, para lang maging interactive lalo tong interview session natin. Yeah, natin. Magbabasa lang ako ng comment na. So, si Judy Antico, sabi niya, I love the idea on focusing on the first 10 clients. Tapos... Wow. Oh, honey, actually, ngayon ko lang din siya narinig, eh, yung ganong yeah. thoughts sa business, eh. Hmm. Tapos... Kasi... Si... Sige, sige. All along kasi ang akala ko, uh, get, 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 More. get ng mm. mga clients eh. Damihan mo yan, damihan. Yung pala no um, satisfaction talaga nung first few clients mo yung kailangan mong i-master and then eventually magiging domino effect na rin siya. Ito si George naman, sabi niya, hire people smarter than you. So, yun yung pinaka... Ang dami na nila nakukuha sa'yo, Miss Carla, no? Actually, kahit kami ni Nick, alam ko, <laughs> ako yung feeling ko kasi na, ay, ganun pala yun. Ang dami, ang dami kong pinagsasabi dati. Akala ko, okay na ako. Pero pag, na, nung narinig ko kanina yun, yung mga sinasabi nila, ah, oh, ano, hindi ko alam yun. <laughs> And actually, ito rin, Miss Carla, yung objectives namin, kung bakit kami nag-start <laughs> ng show, is to really learn from our guests. Kasi, ano eh, ang sarap sa feeling na natututo ka ng gano'n. Di ba yung mga experiences ng tao? And yun yung best way to learn eh. Sabi nga nila eh, uh-huh. wise man learns from his mistake. But a wiser man learns from others' mistakes. So, kumbaga, it is uh-huh. ano eh, time reduction. Kumbaga, nire-reduce natin yung time na kailangan natin mag-aral. And we just listen to the mentors that we have. And each guest that we have here is we are considering them a mentor. Kasi tinuturuan nila lahat nung nakikinig eh. So ma'am, ask ko lang din, no? kasi super curious ako about dun sa book kasi nabasa ko, you, you are also a writer. So ano ba yung mga insights na pwede mong ibigay sa amin? No? Oh, yeah. So um, for my book, bale, ano siya, pangarap ko talagang before na maging author, mag-write ng book. And then I realized that the best, thing, the best way to do that is to have something that will... Um, Uh, will really make a difference, I would say, uh, to to the reader. So, because I ako I'm a voracious reader. Like I read a lot. Um, in fact, the two ngayong app ko sa phone ko na ano eh na audiobook, uh, scribe and uh, audible. So, pag nagigim ako, nagdrive, as in I always listen to books. May meron mga books na inuulit ulit ko talaga para pumasok sa kote ko. Um, so. When I was writing that book, I wanted it to really make a difference. So, ang ginawa ko is, maraming mga books that are inspirational, motivational, meron ding mga learnings, pero they really don't tell you what to do next. Like, um, yun yung nakita ko na kulang. So, yung ginawa kong book is, meron akong advice or story, and after that, my worksheet. So, yung worksheet, yun yung a-answeran mo, i-guide na kita ano yung gagawin mo next. So parang ganun. So um yun yung ano, yun yung idea ko and for me it was uh it's it's designed for a business owner who want practical advice. So marami akong personal stories doon. In fact, may mga hugot din yon uh, <laughs> about my life. <laughs> Actually, marami ang nagsasabi na first 10 pages pa lang naiyak na sila ganun. So um ang joke ko naman sa kanila na at least, alam mo na paano mag-start ng negosyo. <laughs> Ganun talaga, may pain. <laughs> uh, and me, personally, I, I I can't even... I can't even... I, I remember so many times when I was younger na uh, umuwi na ako ng bahay na umiiyak. Kasi hindi ko na kaya. Hindi ko na kaya yung pressure. Hindi ko na kaya yung mga nangyayari sa negosyo. Ganun. So, yung mga betrayal na nakukuha mo. So, you know, entrepreneurship is a very, very bumpy road. And... Being an entrepreneur is uh, requires resilience uh, sa utak. Uh, mindset talaga is very important and uh, emotional strength. And uh, wag ka talaga, the, isipin mo na lang how many people are entrepreneurs and how many people have a job. Hindi ibig sabihin na pag may trabaho ka, alipin ka sa sistema or something like that. No, it's not. 
it's because entrepreneurship is really hard and uh, and if you really want it you have to give it your all no hindi ko kayo tinatakot ha uh, i'm just saying it's really hard and that's why most people are not entrepreneurs but if yun talagang pangarap mo if yun talaga yung gusto mo then ibigay mo yung lahat mo sa sa negosyo hmm. it's so amazing no kahit doon sa book na sinulat niya na ipasok niya pa rin yung marketing why kasi nakita niya ito yung kailangan ng tao eh it huh. doesn't stop with just uh, hearing your story learning right. from your lesson no it doesn't stop there so ginawa ni Miss Carla is nag isip siya na way paano maging interactive yung book niya paano magiging essential to para dun sa bumili hindi lang dahil binili niya yung kwento kundi meron talaga siyang mangyayari para sa buhay niya so pa- may marketing pa rin guys no <laughs> paano ba tayo yeah. makakabili niyan saan ba tayo makaka- may oh. ebook ba niyan ma'am ah uh, no eh you have to in my experience kasi mga ebook hindi na nababasa eh. So uh or it, it takes someone who's really committed. But you can visit my website carlasingson.com. I have a page there that uh is uh dedicated to mentorship so you can buy my book there. Um based on your comment nga pala on marketing the book. Um yung book ko kasi is not cheap. It's 1850 pesos. Uh free shipping and free surprise gift. So, wow. <laughs> um, uh, surprise lang talaga siya. So marami akong mga pinagawang mga gift na naka-brand for an entrepreneur uh, na pinipili ko yung gift based on the recipient. So, pakwela lang. But uh, if you think about it, my book is more expensive than a lot of books out there that are written by authors who are more, more famous than me. Ngayon, inisip ko talaga yung worksheet na idea is because for me, it's the only way that I can assure the buyer na mag roi din sila sa libro. Yeah. ba? Kung binili mo yung libro ng 1-8, at meron kang, there's 100 stories and worksheets and lessons there. 101 actually. Kung meron kang ginamit na isa, isa lang. At inapply mo sa negosyo mo, at yung negosyo mo, you made 5,000 pesos more, ROI ka na. Diba? So, yeah. yun yung inisip ko din. So, yeah, that is a marketing lesson din, guys. So, a way to market your product is to make the buyer realize that the amount of money that they're paying you is actually uh, will actually give them a return that is more or higher than um, than what they're paying you. Kasi pag ganun, they will actually be happy to pay you the money. They will beg you to work with them and for you to take their money. So, yeah. Kasi price is just an illusion. Eh. Pag alam mo yung benefits, yung value na madadagdag sa'yo as a person. So yun mm-hmm. yung minsan na struggle ng mga startups na especially mga entrepreneurs. Iniisip nila lagi dapat mura yung product o dapat ano lagi oh. yung mga start So it is more on value eh. Paano ka nakakadagdag dun sa tao? So That's yun. Sa ROI for, for me ah, yung ROI kasi doesn't talk about just money. Hindi lang siya pera Yung ROI, pwedeng knowledge na magigain mo from reading the book itself. So yun, yun yung ROI mo kasi meron ka na nakuha investment out of the money that na nilabas mo eh. Kasi natuto ka. Kasi you can apply that thing to your ano, to your passion, to your business, to whatever you do. So that's an ROI itself. Yeah. Grabe no, forget... Mar- marketing talaga. No? <laughs> marketing talaga. And don't forget the most important ROI of everything. And that is the emotional ROI. So yeah. people buy... Uh, not through logic, but through emotions. We buy through emotions and then we justify by logic. We spend more money on our wants and on our needs because I challenge you guys, how much do you spend on your food? And compare that to how much you spend on travel, on your jeans, on your makeup, di ba? Mm. Ako, ako kumakain pa rin ako ng karinderia, pero yung lipstick ko mak talaga. So, <laughs> ganun. Di ba? Um, Bumibili, depende, yung sabi, sabi nga ni Jaila kanina, no? uh, it depends on the value of, uh, uh, ano yung perceived value ng customer sa product mo? Uh, I'll give you another example. When I go out with my friends, I really love wine. When I go out with my friends, uh, nalilibre ako ng wine. I, I usually spend somewhere between five to 10,000 on wine pag lumalabas ako with friends. I'm very, very happy. I have a great night. It doesn't matter if we took pictures or not, but we're so happy. I have fun with my girlfriend. Um, and for other people, that's like, are you crazy, Carla? But it's so stupid. Iihi mo lang yan, di ba? Iba ganun yung sinasabi ni Ma'am. Of course, sa mga mayama na people, like heart evangelista, 10,000 for wine is nothing. Um, 
Uh, but for some people, that's a lot of money, right? Mm. 10,000 to for a night of wine. Pero would you believe na hanggang ngayon wala akong Spotify Premium? And Spotify, <laughs> Spotify Premium is how much? 100 something per month pesos, mm. right? So, bakit, why am I willing to spend 10,000 a night on wine but not on 150 pesos or, per month on Spotify, Spotify Premium? It's because I don't see any value in it. Mm. Spotify Premium. So, iba-iba ang perception ng value din uh, in terms of uh, client. And that's why in marketing, you have to know, um, you have to understand your customer base. Ano yung pinaperceive nila as valuable? So, mm-hmm. yun. Galing. Pero Grabe. natutuwa ako mag <laughs> sa ano mo, sa sinabi mo. Nakain ka sa karinderia, pero yung lipstick mo... Hindi pa ito. <laughs> kasi basta, kasi basta. nga na market na siya, na, na market na siya ng Mac. Eh. Alam na ng Mac na ito na. Uh, <laughs> na yung maganda yung marketing value, strategy. Value value din na nadadagdag sa kanya no uh, uh, ano lipstick. Uh, so uh, 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 kasi yung uh, perception talaga ng buyer eh kung ano yung binavalue talaga nila. Eh. So yun, uh, kaga, pares kami ng note ni Judy. So yung emotional uh, ROI. So ni note ko rin kasi siya yung emotional ROI. So, syempre, being a technical business, nandun ka lagi sa ROI mo in terms of finances, knowledge, pero yung emotional, ngayon ko lang siya kasi personally na encounter. Ikaw ba, Angela? Yung emotional ROI? Oo, oh, ngayon ko lang din actually narinig yung emotional ROI. Kasi mm-hmm. sa school talaga, aminin naman natin, ROI speaks about money. Mm-hmm. Yun lagi yung nai-instill sa otak natin na if you're earning, that's an ROI. Mm-hmm. And that's the end of the story. Pero, Meron pang ibang aspect ng ROI eh, which is uh, emotional, uh, then nga knowledge, so there's a lot. So ngayon, ngayon ko lang na in first ever yung emotional uh, and ROI. Come to think about it, <laughs> tinamaan din ako. I spend most of my money <laughs> sa wants ko versus sa needs ko. Ano yon? Kailangan i-reveal mo sa amin. Uh, no, mapapashare pa siya. <laughs> may, may, hilig, may hilig kasi ako sa tech. May hilig ako sa gadget. So, I invest a lot doon. So, kung paano ko mga ayos. Although, it is somehow uh, business-related purposes. Pero minsan yung mga other tech items mo, hindi na related sa business. Eh. Pero parang <laughs> na-addict ka doon. Alam mo yung feeling na ang sarap maglasada. Mag-shop na. Kasi na, or... na-target na nila yung, oh. na-market na nila eh. So, pero... Oh. Ganyan pa na. Uh, <laughs> so, ang ganda na nausapan natin ngayon. No? Sorry, pero ka- i-ano ko lang. No? Kasi kagabi... Para lang sa kaalaman ng mga viewers, nag-usap-usap din kami tatlo. Ano ba yung topic? Actually, nagkakagulo pa kami. Ano ba yung magandang topic na isi-share natin sa tao na talagang interesting? Nag-come up kami sa isang idea na 100K in 100 days. How to how to market hmm. your small business with a shoestring budget. Kasi di ba, pag small business ka, parang least na paglalaanin mo ng budget marketing. Eh. Yun yung sa sa typical na business man na. Mm. Ngayon, paano natin imamarket nga yung isang small business na may shoestring budget? Uh, all, all We would ears, like to hear it from... Uh, all uh, ears tayo. Guys, yung mga viewers natin, all ears tayo. Take note. Uh, take note. Uh, ako, ako, take note ako, take note. Sayang. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, you know, this is not a lecture, obviously. In fact, uh, I've been very strategic and actually, na-discuss na natin lahat ng points. Mm-hmm. Almost all of the points. So, pagtahiin na lang natin sila together. And um, if, if you guys, uh, to everyone who's watching, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. So, just remember that this is a limited edition offer. <laughs> uh, if you ask me a question, I'm gonna charge you for consulting outside of this. But... Uh, but you know, I'm very grateful that um, Jella and Iggy invited me here. So, um, ayan. So, pagtahiin natin yung lahat ng uh, lahat na discuss natin na uh, principles. And actually, nilista ko siya, and I, I made sure that I uh, mentioned everything in your questions. So, kung nakinig kayo, or um, if you if you just got on right now, uh, you still have a chance to learn the strategy. So, okay. So first of all, ano muna tayo, principles. If this is your first business and and you can't make 100k in 100 days, it's okay. Because don't kick yourself. Don't think na oh my gosh, I'm so stupid because um, <laughs> business is business gets easier as you go. So, uh, I, uh, my first business, I, I think I hit my first million after 6 years. So, ang tagal nun. Uh, but yung mga bago ko na start na negosyo, I hit my first million in um, 
in pesos ha pero some of them uh, my other businesses kasi are are registered overseas oh, high dir so um <laughs> uh, so kung ikaw convert ko siya in pesos uh, i hit my first million probably in uh, three months di ba so mas ano na siya mas mabilis siya uh, oo so um Okay, so it, it will get easier and easier. So first of all, the pinaka una is I want you guys to pick a profit first business. Or if you don't own a profit first business, uh, I want you to make it as close as possible to being profit first. So I'll give you a few examples. Um, social media mar- marketing, social media management, actually a profit first business. Kasi nakokolekta mo yung profit mo at yung bayad before you provide the service. Landscaping, pwede ka mag- uh, maningil before um, before magawin yung service um, uh, flower shop no uh, gusto mo ng flower shop gift shop uh, delivery service any delivery service babayaran mo na bago isa send um, pre order anything pre order so if you sell shoes bag pre order uh, even cosmetics pre order nakukuha mo ka agad yung payment so that's profit first um, uh, pick up and delivery laundry cleaning cleaning company so pwede mo din i-collect yung uh, yung payment bago bago mo gawin yung service so meron din pala akong uh, cleaning company franchise so plug <laughs> shameless plug <laughs> if you are interested uh, in starting your own cleaning company uh, I, I have a documented success in that business as well so um, yung iba-ibang negosyo na pinili ko talaga is naka-formula na talaga siya. So, whatever I start, profit first talaga. So, what are businesses? Question nyo, common question. Carla, what are businesses that are not profit first? Number one, food business. Uh, for me, I really, really avoid food businesses. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying na wag yung gawin, but for me, um, food business kasi, bibili ka ng raw materials na perishable. Diyan ako takot. Kasi pag perishable ang item, pag hindi mo nabenta at hindi mo na-move, loss mo na yon Automatic loss. So, uh, kailangan mo siyang ibenta at kailangan mo siyang i-move. Um, first in, first out ang food sa, sa food business. Kaya, kung meron kang pwesto, kailangan mo buy ng renta, ng salary, plus marketing. So, ano na yung margin mo, ba So, not to, not to, ano pa, not to mention, that when it comes to food, there's so much competition out there. Mm-hmm. And ang tao who loves your cuisine will not eat there every day, even if they love your cuisine. So yun yung hesitation ko. So that's one example of a profit plus, actually a profit plus business. Uh, unless you're a home baker, you bake cakes, and you collect payment before you bake a cake, then you can make it into a profit first business. So a, a profit first business is a format. It's not a kind no there is a way for a food business to become profit first and any other services pwede din siya profit first if magko-collect kayo ng down payment so yun yung gusto ko so first is ayusin niyo yung format ng negosyo niyo pag naayos mo yung format ng negosyo mo it will only spend probably one week lang uh dun sa kasi nandito tayo sa 100 days no so uh, that would be ilang weeks yan divided by 7 14? 14 weeks? Tama ba? Yeah. Six, I don't know. 4, 8, 12. Huh? So, sa 3 months, 12 Four, weeks. Uh, mga 13, 12 14 weeks. weeks. Yeah. Oh, 98 days. Yung 14. Uh, yeah, so, at least hindi ako napaya sa mask ko, ba? So, <laughs> more or less, 14 weeks. So, on the first week, I want you to spend time in formatting your business. And, gumawa din kayo ng scenarios na kung ito yung kita ko, hangat sa yung income ko, ano yung break-even point. Sa so yung break-even point, you guys, uh, I, I know that's a term that's not sexy, but it's the, what is the point na yung cost nyo is, uh, ano yung point ng revenue nyo or yung kinokolektan yung bayad or yung sales nyo, ano yung point na mag equal siya sa expenses nyo. So pag equal na siya, lahat ng kita mo above that is your profit, right? It's your profit. So, ano yung break-even point nyo? So, dapat alam nyo yun. You, you spend your first week um, writing down your your projections and really being smart about it. The second week is asking for advice. Okay? So, I want you to talk to a mentor, research, do your market research, research and advice. So, your week two should be research and advice. And 
so mag-research kayo sa market, market research, uh, similar companies sa ibang bansa, how they succeeded and uh, ano yung stories, how they failed din, yung mga failure. No? So ano yung mga best practices? Yan. So maganda din yan dun sa week 2, week 2 to week 3. And if you can talk to a mentor, that's so much better. I'm not saying this to promote myself because it doesn't have to be a business consultant na binabayaran mo. A mentor can be yung ate mo, yung pinsan mo na magaling sa negosyo, yung uncle mo na milyonaryo, no? So you ask for advice from them, okay? Yung barkada mo na na hustler, lahat ng sinastart niya na negosyo, nagsasucceed. So maybe it's time to buy that barkada a beer and ask them for advice, no? So research and advice. And then, um, product development ka na. So, product development, isipin mo ano pa ba yung ways to improve your product. So, probably nasa week 2, uh, week 3, and week 4 na yun ka. Ngayon, pag ready to launch ka na, dun ka na sa ano, branding and marketing. So, at saka, iaano mo na din, uh, igagapang mo na din yung sales niyan. So, I would say the week 4 up to week 14 is really focus on your first 10 happy clients. And just remember that it will be a lot of trial and error, um, but you have to focus on the emotional ROI. How can you make every purchase be a good feeling to a customer? No, maraming ways to do that. The most basic way is to send them a good message to always answer their questions, no? focus to sa customer support. And then meron ng other marketing activities like loyalty card, depends on yan, my loyalty cards. Mm -hmm ay mga mga pa ano pa raffle no so it's up to you so one of the strategies that we use pwede nyo tong kopyahin one of the strategies we, that we use to grow our flower shop business yung mga franchise ko sa first month nila uh, nagpaparaffle kami ng life size teddy bear so to raise the likes and the shares of our page so ano ka para ka nag-iingay niyan di ba parang uh, nag-aano ka nagiingay ka sa ano sa sa neighborhood niyo kumbaga diba so uh, that's when you get people to start noticing you oy sino to oy ano tong bagong business ni Jella uh, and then dun ka na sa start na napag-uusapan ka na pag-uusapan ka na some people will try your product kasi nga napag-usapan ka na and so that's a time that you try to make them feel good about the purchase no so after that on the last let's say 20 days the last three weeks, focus ka na on growth. So, meron ka nang na-serve na clients, ask yourself, oh my God, how can I do this better? Um, okay, binili niya to. Ano pa kaya yung pwede kong i-offer sa kanya? So, that's what we call in marketing an upsell. No? Um, upsell. Meron din tayong tinatawag na downsell. Hindi niya to binili, nag-known na siya. Ano kaya yung something cheaper? Something less na pwede nating ma-offer. No? So, uh, dun sa cleaning company, um, for example, may nagtatanong, how much po ba yung baby, baby safe cleaning? Kasi meron kaming offer na all organic baby safe cleaning. Uh, that's also safe for pregnant women. So sasabihin namin, uh, it's ano po, sa size ng bahay nyo, it's 2.5. Tapos sasabihin niya, ay naku, parang mahal naman. Uh, sabihin niya, yes ma'am, kasi po all organic po kasi yung products natin. Tsaka uh, ganun. Tsaka in, in, inaano din natin yung air, isang round ng air na parang cleaning, air purifying po. Sabi niya, wala bang mas mura. So, pwede natin siya i-downsell na pwede po yung baby safe cleaning doon lang po sa room ng baby and then the rest of the house po yung regular natin which is still very good naman po. Uh, hindi nga lang organic but it's still very good for in terms of disinfecting and mm -hmm. something. So, dapat may offer, may downsell din. And the importance of upsells then guys is yan kasi, dyan kasi nagsisimula yung mataas talaga na profit margin. So, the most successful upsell term in the world that generated billions is would you like fries with that? So, uh, <laughs> right? Asking that question is the most basic upsell that we have experienced. You order a burger, they ask you would you like fries with that? Uh, you're like, ah, yeah, sure. So, so <laughs> sa panahon na yun, tumaas na yung profit margin nila. Yan din yung strategy namin sa flower shop. Would you believe, guys, Eto, kasi syempre lalaki si EG. Would you believe na walang lalaki who wants to appear cheap? That's why, if they order a bouquet, sasabihin namin, ay sir, bouquet lang. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ayan, alam na ng mga lalaki yung strategy. 
Adagdagan nyo na ng chocolate, sir, or yun ang teddy bear para mas memorable, ganyan ka na. So, meron na kami mga script niyan. So, dun sa instant upsell, sa mga upsell, tumataas talaga instant, tumataas yung profit margin mo. So, ilagay mo yan sa last 20 days ng 100-day plan mo. Kasi, na plan sa so ginawa mo before, na-format mo na yung negosyo mo, nakapag-research ka na, nakapag-benta ka na, in-improve mo na yung binenta mo. So, ano na yung next? I-grow mo na yung business. So, increase mo na yung profit margin and dapat focus ka na din sa pera talaga. Focus ka sa bottom line. Kasi sales, guys, sales and money in business solves all of your problems. Trust me. Mga away sa negosyo, nasasolve yan ng pera. <laughs> Maybe not sa mag-asawa, lahat, no? Pero sa negosyo, lahat, almost all the problems in business can be solved in money. So, no, no, grabe. Tahi-tahi daw. Pero ang dami ko pa rin natutunan eh. Parang kakaibang start, face pa rin ito na kwentuhan natin, no? Mm-hmm. Natuwa ako dun sa upsell tsaka downsell eh. Dapat nga talaga eh, kapag you're starting to venture into a business, that i-consider mo rin yun eh. Kasi may mga tao na yung budget nila is mas mababa dun sa sinet mo na ina-expect mo from them. May meron mm-hmm. namang mas mataas. Gusto pang mag-avail ng ano pa, ng mga additional so, grabe nga, no? Upsell and downsell. Tama. A- ako naman yun sa, ano, uh, yun sa flower shop. Kasi kung iisipin mo, <laughs> flowers, eto, di ba, pupunta yung tao, pipili. Pero there are still scripts pala, no? Na kailangan pa rin ibigay dun sa mga tao to upsell them. So, can you imagine uh-huh. yun? Pag, pag sa akin sinabi yun, ay, bukay lang. Bago, di ba, you're valuing someone na bibigyan mo ng flowers bago yun lang. Kung bagat mapapilitan kang bumili, ano bang magandang idagdag? So, yun yung magiging sasabihin ko eh. Yun yung magiging sasabihin. Ano bang masasuggest mo na dagdag ko? So, magic na. No, no? And, at that, point, na and at, at that point, trust me, you're not thinking about your money. You're uh, actually thinking about paano mong papasay yung pagbibigyan mo. Hmm. So, what's that? That's an emotional ROI. <laughs> Grabe no. Mind blown. Uh, kasi, isipin mo no? O nga no? Parang, parang, lalo, especially pag nanliligaw ka pa lang, bago sasabihin sa'yo nung ano, florist na, bakit yan lang? Diba? Bakit bukay lang? Diba? Dapat dagdagan mo. Mga ano, mapapais. Kasi, alam mo, sinong, alam mo sinong pinakamagandang bentahan? Yung mga may kasalanan. Kasi ang laki ng budget. <laughs> sir, ano ka ba, sir? Parang, flowers lang. Oh my God, sir, baka, nako, bebrikan ka talaga nito. Dapat kata, sir, may teddy bear. Tapos, may chocolate din po. May tweet din po na I'm sorry. <laughs> Siguro pag si Miss Carla yung mismo nag, nagbenta sa'yo or siya yung tao noong time na bumili ka para mabibili mo lahat. Al, alat, uh, ata lahat na ino-offer nila dun sa flower shop, no? Or posible malaman niya na rin yung problema mo kaya bumibili uh, ka ng flowers. <laughs> so, you, uh, grabe, no? Actually, every Valentine's Day, syempre, yan yung pinakamalaking araw namin. Ako talaga, walang ibang tao na umuupo sa pwesto namin. Ako talaga yung nagbebenta. Sobrang nakakatawa. Kasi my sister is now managing my flower shop. And uh, lumilipad talaga ako ng Davao. Kahit saan ako sa world, ha? Kahit sa US na ako. Lumilipad talaga ako ng Davao. Kasi my sister really wants me to sell. And tapos every Valentine's, naka, meron, ako, naka, meron ako uniform, naka shorts na, ganun. Tapos naka yung hair. <laughs> ano na? Uh, meron ako mga script para sa mga biktima. Sa mga biktima. <laughs> I mean, that's it. <laughs> so, kasahan niyo hindi. po yung, yung mga gusto makita in person si Miss Carla, no? Abangan niyo yung Valentine. <laughs> Ito, sabi ni Ma'am Eileen Ferrer, sabi niya, true, yung may kasalanan madali bentahan. <laughs> <laughs> para based on experience na ito, eh. <laughs> Nag-iisip kasi sila paano sila mapapatawa din. So, magaling na marketing strategy yung magawa ng mga script para sa mga scenario eh. Hmm. Kumbaga, yeah. kung, ay, eh, para nga pala dun sa... Ay. Okay, sige. Para dun sa mga uh, viewers natin yung hindi alam, si Miss Carla po currently hindi naman nasa Pilipinas. Uh. So, grabe yung privilege natin na bigyan niya tayo ng time para mag conduct ng in- interactive interview sa kanya. So, thank you for that. So, may mga viewers dyan, Nick, baka meron silang tanong for Miss Carla. Few minutes. Kasi alam naman natin, medyo natagalan ata tayo. Last 10 minutes na lang tayo. Last 10 oh my minutes. gosh. Ayan, so, tanongin nyo na guys. 
So for... Meron sila ma comments, suggestions, appreciation for Miss Carla. Kasi ako, I really appreciate yung pag-accept niya palang na inv- invitation mm. natin eh. Plus, grabe yung ang dami nating natutunan. Kasi ako, akala ko ang dami ko na rin alam eh. Kasi mahilig din po ako magbasa. Mahilig din ako, mahilig din ako mag, mag-take down notes. Mahilig ako mag ganyan. Pero yung mga natutunan ko ngayon, parang never heard pa siya. <laughs> yung mga mm. idea na emotional ROI. Yan, hindi ko pa yun na-encounter ever. So, para dun sa mga viewers na may same experience as me, comment nyo lang dyan kung ano yung mga natutunan nyo from Miss Carla na meron, pwede nyo ma-apply in, their, in your everyday lives. Meron tayo estudyante na sabi niya, we'll definitely buy the book. So, kailangan wow. natin, <laughs> kailangan natin nice. isend yung yeah. link sa kanya. Tapos, That's so nice. Thank you. Sabi niya, ito si Miss Uh, says, sabi niya, Hi, Miss Carla, you, you're really one of my idols, especially on how you encourage other people. Princess Emano here in Cagayan. Mm-hmm. Oh, Gabi, hello, no? fellow Bisaya. Mm-hmm. So, Gabi, pala yung influence talaga ni Miss Carla, no? Merong Quezon City. <laughs> Atakbo na ako. <laughs> <laughs> pero, Ay, naigi, meron ba tayo dyan mga comments pa? Uh, wala pang tanong eh, pero ako... You don't sell a product, you sell experience. So, sabi ni Archie Dakai, you don't sell a product, you sell experience. Ako may personal question ako. So, di ba, we, we focuses on our first 10 clients. Pero how do we handle yung mga clients natin na hindi masaya? Oh, yeah, that's a very good question. So, first of all, wag kang mag-panic because that's very common in business. Even Amazon has bad reviews. even uh, Apple, no? So, ano, huwag kang mag-panic. Um, first, you have to, uh, ang tawag dyan sa business is service recovery. So, uh, I actually wrote uh, an article about this. You can find it on my Medium. Uh, the title of the article is, and I'll share it sa links para mabasa na lahat, uh, the difference between you and Starbucks. Kasi, ang um, nakita ko kasi sa Starbucks talaga, ako guys, I'm not a coffee drinker. Ha? Actually, allergic pala ako sa coffee. So, uh, 12 years na ako hindi nagkakape. Uh, nagkape lang ako dati no, when I was in college and then after that nagkaroon ako ng weird allergy pero every time I'm in Starbucks nag-order lang ako ng iced tea napapansin ko talaga that they have a way to win back a customer who's unhappy uh, nandun sa article ko but in service recovery first is you, you acknowledge and you apologize so you acknowledge na ano yung problema nila makinig ka sa kanila tingnan mo yung yung nangyari in their viewpoint uh, Kasi minsan, you're having a bad day, they're having a bad day. Hindi kayo nagkakaintindihan, right? So, uh, so dapat acknowledge mo, uh, mag-thank you ka sa kanila na nagbigay sila ng feedback, and mm-hmm. mag-apologize ka, pasensya na, ganun. And I take responsibility. Huwag kang mag-blame na ibang tao, ng manager. It doesn't look good for your company. And sabi nga nila, di ba, as a CEO, everything is your fault. So, dapat akuin mo as a leader. So, And then after that, you offer them a refund and uh, a way to solve the problem and a reason to come back. Pinaka-importante yung last. So, napapan- napansin ko to sa Starbucks, sinobserve ko lang. Nangyari to ay may nagalit, ganun. Meron talaga, finalo talaga na yung formula. Acknowledge, apologize, mm-hmm. uh, fix the problem, take accountability, and give them a reason to come back. Every time ako na naging unhappy ako sa Starbucks, they always give me a gift card. Uh, the next your next purchase is on us because it's a chance for them to win you back. So, uh, sa amin sa flower shop, of course, marami kaming ano, bad experiences, lalo na sa Valentine's Day. Ngayon, mas magaling na kami. But before, probably three years ago, nagkaroon kami ng super malaking fuck up and daming bad reviews. So, yung iba, na masahe namin yung iba, hindi. But, eto yung prinsipyo ko, pag merong hindi masaya sa flowers nila, I, we refund, we apologize, we refund their money, we send them a new batch of flowers, and then we give them a gift card for their next order. So, anda, grabe naman, di ba, pag nagalit pa sila. Ni-refund ka na nga, binigyan ka ng bagong bulaklak, right away, dinideliver namin ka agad. And binigyan ka pa ng free bouquet for the future. So, yon. The cost, always remember, the cost of acquiring a new customer is three times, at least three times more expensive than the cost of retaining a customer. So, mas importante talaga na alagaan mo yung mga, ano, mga, mga customer mo ngayon. Ang galing. 
na ano to, take away to kasi yung customer acquisition cost sobrang crucial talaga yan so ngayon ko lang na-realize na yung cost pala ng retention is mas mahal sa acquisition kasi ang mindset ko mas mahal yung acquisition kesa sa retention kasi nandun na siya eh. so bumibili na lang siya passive sa'yo na ito pero o nga there are other factors na kung kunyari may possibly complain tapos na-build mo na yung connection dun sa kliyente mo yeah. and dapat ano to dapat ma, dapat ma, uh, maintindihan at maalala to ng tao na mas mahal yung retention kesa acquisition so, yun. pero marketing pa din hanggang huli no kasi ni-retain pa rin paano mo i-retain yung customer mo na unhappy paano mo siya i-win back paano mo paano mo papabalik sa business mo at mapabili ulit ng product or ng service na ni-render mo right and um and to add to that also um Uh, in fact, yung mga mawi-win back mo na clients, ano, mas, ano sila, mas loyal sila actually. Kasi nakita, nakita ka nila on your bad day and then uh, bawi mo yung ano. Uh, and most of all, sa marketing guys, meron tayong tinatawag na LTV or lifetime value of a client. That is the total amount of money that a customer spends in your business. So in a business like a flower shop, eto din pala, kasali din to sa formula ko. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, unlimited LTV. So, lahat ng negosyo ko, unlimited yung LTV ng bawat kliyente. So, I'll give you an example. A flower shop, pag nag-order si EG ng flower sa amin at nag- masaya siya, sa next month sa rin niya, sa next anniversary niya, sa next kasalanan niya, sa next birthday, <laughs> amin sa mag-order. In short, as long as I keep him happy, he will be my client forever. And the amount of money that he will spend on my business is unlimited. No? Same sa cleaning company. Nagpalinis ka ng bahay today, kung masaya ka, every month ka na magpapalinis. So your cost of acquisition is lower, gets lower. Most of all, umaakit pa yung LTV mo. Hmm. Ang ganda, di ba? That is how you really position your business for explosive growth. Hmm. Grabe. Dami natin so, natutunan, no? Last, ano na tayo, last two minutes. Siguro, ma'am. Uh, oh my gosh, basketball ba to? Mag-thank you. Et, Just ito na yung moment it. para mag-thank you kami, no? Para sa hmm. privilege na may interview ay namin grabe guys uh, sobrang humble at professional po ni Miss Carl <laughs> sino ba naman kami para makausap siya no nagulat nga ako ha igi ano yan sino yan <laughs> no kahit ako nagulat din naman ako kumbaga may in-invite ako hindi hindi nag 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 no pero yung pumalit mas matindi di ba kumbaga ay, everything nagalit magalit yung nag no <laughs> and then, close no, friend na mga kami so alam niya yan o ano yung reason pero, na yun. Pero may reason ako, kung bakit. Ako marami talaga ako natutunan ah. I swear, madami na natutunan. I'm not expecting na ganun ka laki. Kasi nga, mm-hmm. syempre hindi ko feel talaga yung marketing eh. I'm a graduate of entrepreneurship. Pero yung marketing kasi hindi ako nag-focus dun eh. Mm-hmm. Um, so nung na- narinig ko na, ito yung tatapot natin. Ah, okay, ano ba yung mga matutunan ko dito? Kasi puro theoretical, parang alam ko na yan eh. Teka, ano, Pero nung nag- last extension ba tayo? Last ext- okay lang sa inyo, Miss Carla. Siguro mga last 10 minutes. Oh. Oh. Sige, yeah, no Re- replenish. Baka may pakasin uh, Replenish tayo kasi one minute na lang ulit eh. So guys, ma- okay, replenish lang kami. Napasarap sa kwento. Sige. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ayan po. Napasarap po kami sa kwento. Pero we will make sure na magrarap kami, guys. Promise yan sa inyo. Na maayos. So, <laughs> ah. so yun nga, no? it's our time na to wrap, to wrap things up. No? So, si Miss Carla, para din sa mga kakadating pa lang dito sa, sa Facebook Live natin, bago pa lang nanood, na late. So, um, 
sayang na hindi niyo na-witness. Pero pwede niyo naman i-replay, tama, Iggy. Oo, oh, no? meron to. So yun nga, nag-start kami as pinakilala ni Miss Carla yung sarili niya. By the way, guys, isa siyang um, writer, award-winning writer, isa siyang speaker, um, marketing lead, owner ng, ng mga businesses na yun, ma- malalaman niyo naman yan as you go along the way, as you play the video. So yung privilege na makilala natin siya, grabe, no? Tapos, um, yun nga, in-explain niya sa atin ano ba yung mga fundamentals para magkaroon, mag-go into business ka, ano yung mga marketing strategies. So, mainly nag-focus tayo sa marketing strategies, formula of success ni Ms. Carla. So, para sa akin siguro, no, ang takeaway ko dito sa session natin na to, no, um, yung client satisfaction, g- kailangan mo talagang i-work out yan sa isang business. Because, you're likely to fail if your customers are not satisfied with the products that you're rendering or the, or the or with the service that you're rendering or the products that you're offering. Yung customer satisfaction and customer retention. Hmm. Pagbigyan natin siyang pansin. So, para sa mga um, nag-startup pa lang, para sa mga nag aspire pa lang mag-create ng business, take natin it from Miss Carla na bigyan talaga natin ng focus sa mga clients or customers natin. Hmm. Ako right. naman, yung takeaway ko dito, kasi I'm a business owner. So also, so as a CEO, everything is your fault. So yun yung medyo umano sa akin, uh, nag-strike. Kasi, Nag-hit sa'yo. Uh, no? <laughs> yun naman. Although ang daming points, kasi medyo marami ako talagang nasulat. So kabilaan yan. So I, I like writing notes and it reminds me of everything na napag-uusapan. Diba yung tip ng ballpen is sharper than your brain. So, yun yung pinaka ano ko kasi we take full responsibility to our clients, customers, to our employees or staffs. So, kaya yung yung call yung call nung business possibly, yun din yung reason eh. Kumbaga, everything will be kung ikaw yung CEO mo. Kung ikaw yung CEO, everything is really your call. So, kailangan to make sure na yung wholehearted ka. Sabi nga ni Ma'am Carla, you give it all eh. Hindi madaling maging entrepreneur. Yun yung pinasinabi niya kanina. And that's why konti lang yung gumagawa nito kasi sobrang hirap. Which is, I can also say, based on experience, na ang hirap talaga. So, ma'am, uh, to wrap this, meron itong isang, isang nag-comment na sa tingin ko, ano eh, maganda ng tanong niya. Plus, yung oh. answer nyo, tapos yung closing remarks. Para wrap tayo kay Miss Carla. So, hi Miss Carla, how do you apply LTV kung B2B yung transaction? Oh, perfect. Uh, so, sa events, sa events clients ko, uh, B2B kami. Uh, konti, lang yung, konti lang yung clients ko na homegrown coffee shop. Uh, actually, my clients are very big. Uh, Sony is my client, Bosch is my client, Air Asia has been my client for five years. Uh, Qatar Airways, you know, they're all my clients. So, um, LTV pa rin. Kasi, if nagustuhan, once again, if nagustuhan ka nila yung service mo once, um, they will keep hiring you. So, uh, let me give you an example. My, my best example would definitely be Air Asia. Ayan. So, uh, Air Asia became my client in, I think, 2015. I think 2015 or 2014. And, um, and we've been doing their events in this mean for a uh, long time. So, siguro kung i-total ko yung lahat ng nag-assess ni AirAsia sa amin, siguro AirAsia pa lang mga 6 or 7M. Uh, pero hindi siya one, hindi siya one time big time, obviously, no? They started hiring us with a project that was 50,000. They liked it. After, uy, Carla, may event na naman kami. Oh, sa inyo na to. Then that was more expensive, and then mga malaking event, malaking event, and then paulit ulit, paulit ulit. I think ang pinakamalaki namang event sa kanila was uh, 1.2, 1.2 million, I think. And um, pinakamura is obviously mga 20,000, mga nagpagawa lang sila ng mga flyers, ganun. So, uh, so it doesn't matter kung malaki yung bibili nila sa or maliit. Basta if they like you, pabalik naman talaga sila ulit. Um, another example for both B2B and B2C would be the cleaning company, di ba? Kung cleaning company ka, um, meron, usually residential talaga yung unang kliyente mo. So, madali lang to, kasi usually ang decision makers ng bahay, isang nanay. Kasi nanay lang yung kailangan mo ligawan. 
Yung nanay lang ang bigyan mo ng emotional ROI. You make her feel that she's a great mom, she's being a smart mom by hiring professionals to clean her house instead of doing it herself. So, um, so after, pero isipin mo yung nanay na to, sino yung asawa nito? Diba? Usually, negosyante, kung middle class, diba? Siyempre, middle class may nag-hire ng cleaning company, diba? Uh, asawa nito, negosyante. So, kung nagustuhan mo yung paglinis ng bahay nila, pwede ka din mag-offer ng office-based na disinfecting, cleaning, diba? Fogging, diba? So, marami ka din pwedeng i-offer din for B2B. Uh, once again, ang tao na nagpapalinis ng office, maru- magiging marumi din naman yung office nila after two weeks, after one month. So, babalik sila ulit sa'yo. Um, let me give you another example that's not my business. Uh, car rentals. Ayan. So, that's another business, no? Once na maalala ka nila. So, it's just really making the experience good. Because like what the Iggy and Jella has agreed to, um, it, people usually forget the money they spent. Eh. Uh, what they remember is how you made them feel. no? So, parang panliligaw. Pag ang lalaki ng ligaw, hindi nila kinaccount magkano yung ginagastos nila sa babae. They actually just remember how the girl made them feel. And if the girl continues to make them feel good, they will keep spoiling the girl. You know, they will keep spending. Hindi nila binibilang magkano yung sinaspend nila. Lahat ng credit card statements nyo, hindi naman lahat ng sinaswat nyo is logical, di ba? A lot of it is emotional. So, once again, ikaw yung negosyante at ikaw yung customer, it's both emotional. The exchange is an emotional exchange. So, yung pera is props lang yan. The pe- money is just a symbol or value. So, in B2B, just make the experience good. And, of course, um, a little bit of formality. Mas mabuti kung nakapasok ka na sa procurement nila ng negosyo. Kasi pag nandun ka na sa system nila, i-hire ka na nila forever. Kasi ayaw na nilang mag- humingi ng ano ng bagong purchaser mag-assess na, na naman ng bagong assess, tao oh, yung na naman ng ano ipapacheck na naman yung business statement so actually yan yung gusto ko ah uh, yan yung gusto ko na uh, and and in B2B guys don't forget you might be talking to someone who's signing your checks they're not it's not their money it's the company's money and at the end of the day they are employees so whatever decision they're doing, it's not gonna affect their personal income. But if you make them feel good about the purchase, then bab- tataas talaga yung LTV ng kliyente mo. Yung magiging unlimited na yan. Uh, aside from that, for in B2B, grabe yung referral. So actually, Air Asia is my first, uh, my, my biggest airline client. But my first airline client was actually Cebu Pacific. So I launched the, we helped launch the Davao Singapore route in Davao. And when Air Asia knew na naging project ko yun, tinuha nila kami. And for a while, Air Asia, we've been working with Air Asia uh, for all of their business projects. Now, last year, nag-launch si Qatar Airways then, uh, ng Davao Doha flight. That was our biggest project last year. Um, uh, seven digits din yun na project. So, ano, um, they, they also got us because they found our work in Air Asia and Cebu Pacific. So, alam mo yun? Uh, kung hindi ka naman exclusive sa isang kompanya, pag nakita nila, uy, magaling to. Diba? Uh, our first, very, very, very first uh, B2B client is Sony. Pero nakuha namin si Sony, nakuha namin si Sharp. Nakuha din namin si Dyson. Diba? So, it's it's going to be a uh, domino effect. Yeah. So, a- a- ako sigur na nasagot na ni ma'am yung tanong ni uh, Rachel de la Cruz. So, sana napanood mo. Pero maman tanong ko naman ito, kumbaga uh, rebat lang no. Paano kung na lost mo yung B2B client mo? Paano mo siya mawi-win back? Mm. Yeah, the, I I will not say the perfect ako. Nangyari niyan sa akin. It was very frustrating. I have this client na malaking call center. Uh, oh my god, actually dalawa sila. Both nawala sa akin. The first one was nawala sa akin yung project. Kasi may na-fire na isang employee who mishandled the finances. Parang in-overstate niya yung resibo ko, tapos nadamay lang ako. So, tinanggal nila kami sa procurement nila. Pero wala akong kasalanan. Yung employee na yun, in-overstate niya yung resibo ko kasi maybe she took some money for herself. Uh, unfortunately, nadamay ako. Unfortunately, wala akong magawa. No? 
uh, even if I prove my innocence, the person who made that decision wanted nothing to do with it. Yung isa namang client, malaki din na call center. Uh, kami yung nag-op- may ginawa kami malaking event for them, launch event. Tapos, yung caterer ko hindi dumating on time. Oh my God, sobrang late yung caterer. Kasi pagdating niya, maraming kulang na plato and all. It was fucking shit show. So, hindi ko alam. Of course, pinagalitan ko siya. Inaway ko siya. Tinanggal ko na din siya sa roster ko. Parang, I'm not gonna work with you. I'm not even gonna pay you. You're costing me a client. So, yun. Um, mahirap siya. Mahirap. But it will happen to you. Um... I cannot, yun lang, I think yun lang yung mga kliyente na nawala ako talaga. And it was very hard to win them back. Kasi, even ng caterer, you know, di ba, if you're a CEO, everything is your fault. I can't say, ah, kasalanan kasi ng caterer, di ba? Do you think kung hindi masaya yung client ko kung narinig nila yan? Parang hindi naman, di ba? So, uh, so, what I did though is I sent them a gift na parang thank you for trusting. Um, we're very happy to have been been a part of this. So, um, and you can give them a discount, palit. You can give them a discount for next time. Uh, wait lang, hiniisip ko talaga, baka meron eh, baka meron kami na win back. I think meron din naman, pero hindi ganun kasi kalaki, hindi ganun kasi kalaki yung, kumbaga yung kasalanan namin. But, I would say na sa B2B, mas magiging maingat dapat kayo kasi, once again, they operate on formalities. Pag nawala ka na sa procurement, wala ka na sa lista, wala ka na talaga. They will not make an effort to bring you back. Why? Kasi marami namang suppliers dyan sa tabi-tabi. Hindi naman ikaw lang. So, move on ka na lang. Huwag mo lang dibdibin. <laughs> move on ka na lang. And always trust that the universe will, you know, as long as you're doing good work and you treat your people well, uh, yan din pala yung isang anchor na bakit ko nasabi na ano nag-grow yung businesses ko is I really believe that I treat my people well. And uh, and they're rewarded more than normal, not just financially, emotionally. Then, so yun. So, uh, any closing Satisfied statement? Uh, eh. Any closing <laughs> statement, na Miss Carla. So, me, pero yeah. sabi ni ano Gracel de la Cruz, can I send an email to Miss Carla? Siguro pwede na lang siya yeah. pumunta sa page niya, na ma'am na sa Facebook yeah, page niya. Yeah, message me on my page. Yeah, okay. definitely, I reply. Wow, grabe, grabe yung grabe yung experience ng mga viewers natin. Na nakarinig din sila ng talk. Mga kapag <laughs> nag- mag-replay pa sa kanila si Miss Carla. Pero ma'am, okay, ano okay. lang, just to give you an idea, i-invite ka namin mm-hmm. ulit. Ang topic siguro women empowerment kasi may hinihit lang kami na uh, milestone tapos nandoon na tayo. Doon. Kasi ngayon pina-practice namin yung isa pa lang yung guest tapos na try na natin naka-panel tayo na online. So, yun yung mga visions natin ngayon. Pero, yeah. just to close things up, no? Just to wrap it, ano po ba yung closing statements nyo and final uh, advice dun sa mga nanonood sa atin? Yeah, I really love this part kasi um, this is the part where, um, you know, people should listen the most kasi ito yung pinaka-important advice, sir, I would say. So, lahat ng advice na sinabi ko today, lahat ng nan-learn nyo from Iggy, Angela, Pwede mong kalimutan yun lahat, except for this. <laughs> so, when people start businesses, uh, one of the main reasons why people start businesses is they want to be financially free. No? So, iniisip, most people iniisip nila, kung nagtrabaho ako, kahit gano'n ako kagaling sa trabaho ko, yung mayaman yung boss ko, hindi ako. Diba? So, common yun siya, common yun siya na mindset. Kaya iniisip ng mga tao, you know what, I'll just start a business kasi kontrolado ko yung oras ko and all. But once again, um, 90, 80-90% of businesses actually fail on their first year. Di ba? Yun yung statistics. And one of the reasons why I'm, I really love franchising is the success rate of franchises are 90%. So kasi binili mo na yung sistema, binili mo na yung formula sa ibang tao. But... Uh, when, you, when you think about it, you, you start a business to make money so that you can be financially free para makapag-travel ka. You own your time, you own your money, you have freedom. But a lot of people keep asking themselves, um, when, they set for, when they set up their goal, they keep asking themselves, what do I need to do to get to 10 million pesos this year? For example, ha, yun, yung, ano mo, yun yung target mo, 10 million pesos. 
So sometimes we, when we are reflecting, we ask ourselves, what do I need to do for my business? Or what do I need to do to reach 10 million pesos this year? But in fact, actually, that's the wrong question. The right question is, who do I need to be? So that 10 million pesos is easy for me. Because running a business, making decisions every day is take discipline, guys. And discipline is not a matter of strategy. It's a matter of who you are. It's a matter of kung tumitingin ka sa salamin, masaya ka ba sa nakikita mo? Masaya ka ba sa nagawa mo today? Did you do a mediocre job? Or did you do an excellent job? And natutulog ka ba feeling good sa na-achieve mo that day? No? Actually, that's one of the reasons why, uh, for me personally, I believe that a lot of millennials have problems sleeping. It's because they are confronted by mediocrity. They are confronted, confronted by the lack of fulfillment that they feel because sa araw nagising sila, hindi nila ginawa yung lahat ng dapat nilang gawin. Nagpapastinate sila, nag-waste sila ng time on social media. Hindi nila iniisip yung personal growth nila. Hindi nila ginawa yung dapat nilang ginawa sa negosyo. So, hindi nila pinalo up yung lead. Alam mo yun, they didn't tell their mom, I love you. So, I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of millennials have insomnia or high anxiety. Because they we spend our days doing the things that don't give us fulfillment. So, it's, you know, running a business is deeper than just making money. It's getting into the core of what do you really want to achieve and what are you willing, what is your duty towards your success, diba? So, lahat sa atin, oh, I want to succeed. I want to have these goals. I want to have this X amount of money in the bank. Hindi mo ba alam na lahat ng parts na yun that pertain to your success, has it has a kalakit na duty. May kalakit na kapalit. And if you're not willing to to give that, then please, just accept that you're gonna fail. But if you refuse, if you refuse to do that, if you wake up every morning feeling excited about life, yun yung ginajoke nila sa akin, Carla, how do you do what you do? Hindi ka nagkakape. And I tell them, well, I wake up excited about, you know, the promise of achievement. So, what you achieve is tied to who you are. It's not tied to what you do. So always remember that. And if you need to change something in your life, you start by changing who you are. And then after that, kung ano man yung next na gagawin nyo, it will show up. It will just appear in your life. And malalaman mo with clarity what you're gonna do next. So, there you go. Wow. Ma'am, <laughs> ano, no, what you achieve is tied to who you are. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung, ano, yun, pwede ba natin i-quote yan sa'yo? I-upload ko lang. Pwede, pwede. ka na ng picture na payat ako. <laughs> <laughs> Sige po. So, yun. Uh, grabe, uh, ako uh, excited, satisfied dun sa uh, naging talk natin ngayon. And I'm looking forward dun sa susunod. So, syempre, hindi naman kasi natin mapag-uusapan lahat sa isang oras. So, ako, uh-huh. ano na ako ngayon, ah, uh, We've been running this show for almost 1 hour and 33 minutes. And mm-hmm. ako personally, d- dami kong natutunan, dami kong nasulat, ang dami kong take away, and ang dami kong i-adapt sa business ko. So, yun nice. yung pinaka-ano ko, pinaka-take away ko ngayong araw. So, ikaw, Angela, ano sa'yo? So, ano i-take home si Miss Carla? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, I'm grabe na. Take home. <laughs> take home. <laughs> Kasi, ano eh, ano ba? Siya yung, ano ba, if, yun nga, sabi nga ni Iggy, woman empowerment. Nakita ko siya na, na, as a woman, talagang na-empower niya yung mga tao na kung ano yung ginagawa mo, gawin mo, in, uh, gawin mo ng mas maganda. Go, la, parang ako, ah, paano ba? Ang gulo eh, no? Basta <laughs> yung dating ni Miss Carla sa akin is naka-empower talaga siya sa akin para to do more and be more. Kasi nasa stage now ng life ko na okay na yan basta maganda yung work ko maganda yung maganda yung kita ko maganda yung ganito comfortable ako hindi pala nagstay na pala ako sa comfort zone ko so narinig ko yung talk on na ito parang nakita ko yung paano niya ginawa yung mga bagay naging excited na ako so naging excited na ako to do more and be more yeah and I'm excited for our next talk kasi If it's all about entrepreneurship and and empowering people, always remember, guys, that entrepreneurship is a tide that rises your community. The more money you have, the more bis- the more business you have, the more people na mabibigyan mo ng trabaho, masakatulong ka sa charity. 
So, ako sa iyo lahat. Alam mo yun? So, mm-hmm. you know, that's why I really love doing these things. Kahit wala akong kikitain or whatever. It's not like, huwag kayo mahiya if you think, oh my gosh, I'm picking up first time. But, you know, it's I feel like if you're an entrepreneur, you have the responsibility then to give back to your community. Diba? Mm-hmm. Hi. Thank you, Miss Carla. So, di na ang gaya makapag thank you personally, physically, pero uh, grabe yung pagtetang yun namin from the bottom of mm, our heart. Wow. <laughs> so, thank yun. you, there. Have fun. Uh, thank you. Ayun, so, magandang hapon ulit sa so, mga nanood. Magandang hapon, Miss Carla. Stay safe po. Um, ayun, mga, nga, medyo maulan mga, ngayon. Nag-thank you rin yung mga viewers natin. So, ayun, thank you, Miss Carla. O, oh, kasi talagang marami you, silang coach. natutunan eh. So, wow, coach. Uh, you know, pag once na lo- nag-grow na yung influence, kasi it's a matter of doing this kind of show ko, ano eh, continuously regardless kung may isa, uh, dalawa, may consistency, tatlo, yeah. nanonood, gagawin natin to para ma-share, sa- ma-share natin dun sa viewers natin yung natutunan natin ngayon kay Miss Carla. And sobrang dami pa ng mga entrepreneurs na merong iba't ibang klase ng experiences na pinagdaanan na mapapakinggan nyo at matututo kayo, ma-inspire kayo to do your own business. So, yun lang, no? Guys, uh, ayaw na natin i-take yung time masyado ni Miss Carla. And by the way, nga pala, nasa Thailand si Ma'am, no? Sobrang <laughs> lockdown siya doon. And it's time for her to relax para naman happy yung vacation niya sa Thailand. So, <laughs> yun. Uh, ano, guys? End na tayo ng meeting. Thank you. Sana meron kayo natutunan from us. At syempre, alam naman namin mas marami kayo natutunan kay Miss Carla. So, sa susunod ulit na session natin, um, Saturday ba ulit, Nick? Tama, bukas. No? Bukas. Oh, bukas. Meron din. So, yun, mag- magpa-plug naman kami. May mga teaser naman kami na ipopost. And then, nandun din naman yung brief details kung ano yung itatakel natin. So, sana kung sino may mga nanood at natuto ngayon. Piliin nyo pa rin na mas manood at mas matuto ulit sa mga susunod pa ang session natin. Thank Again, you. thank you po, Miss Carla. Bye-bye, Miss Carla. Thank you, Miss Carla. Bye. 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 Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.